Website builders, pros and cons, let's get to it. What's going on everybody? It's David, WebsiteCreativePro.com. So what are some pros and cons of using a website builder like Google Sites, Wix, Squarespace, GoDaddy, Card? There's so many different options. So in this video, I just wanna create a high level overview about like why would you go with a website builder over say WordPress, what are the pros and cons, et cetera. So let's get to it. All right, so let's start off with the pros of using a website builder. The first pro I would say is that it's convenient and easy. And so what I mean by convenient and easy, it's basically like I would describe like a website builder typically is something like the iPhone, for example, like where it's just a bunch of helpful services all bundled together, the integration is seamless and everything just works. Sort of like your iPhone. I would describe like a, like website builders are kind of like the Apple of like of, of websites where everything is just combined into one, like your domain name, web hosting, your templates and themes, uh, your content management system, everything is just bundled together and it just, the integration works really well and I think that's really makes it a strong selling point for beginners and I think that's why uh, beginners who just wanna create a website quick and easy that looks amazing and they don't wanna tinker around with and you know watch videos like my long, hour and a half long tutorial videos on how to create a website or start a blog with WordPress because it is a little bit technical, it takes a little bit of time, there is a learning curve, but like with using something like Wix or Squarespace, yeah, there's a learning curve, but it's a lot quicker and easier. And if you want, if your goal primarily is to get a beautiful website up and running. So basically that's point number one, it's convenient and easy. The next thing I really like about website builders is basically it's just one price, one company. And so when you have a self-hosted website with like WordPress, you have to pay for the hosting, which is a separate company, the domain name registrar, uh, the content management system is WordPress, which is free and open source, but then you have to pay for plugins, uh, social media links, uh, you know, maybe e-commerce functionality like WooCommerce if you wanna add that or a membership website, et cetera. And so then you end up having a bunch of different services that you have to all pay for separately and then put together into one website where is like with a website builder again everything's kind of like built together and the integration is seamless and then you have just one price with one company and that's something i think is a good selling point of a website builder where it just makes it again very convenient and easy to do to use uh, because all the services uh, are just combined under one roof and it ends up being just like one price, one company, uh, one support channel if you ever have any questions and I think that's fantastic because like if you run into like a technical issue instead of like having to reach out for this company or that company or this company, uh, like if you're on Squarespace then you just reach out to Squarespace when you have technical help, uh, when you need some technical issue with your web website. So. That's something I really like, one price, one company. And the last, a nice pro of website builders is that they can be niche specific, which I think is really cool. What I mean by that is like, uh, depending on your specific needs, uh, you should check out my previous video on this topic. Basically there's multiple website builders and they all are geared towards something specific. Like when I think of Card, uh, that's a website builder that allows you to create a beautiful one page website. And so if that's what you want, you wanna create like an online business card, hence the name card, then that, web, that website builder is for you. Uh, if you wanna build like a simple about me website that's like five or 10 pages, Google Sites is great. If you wanna start like say like a blog type deal, uh, then I would go with say Squarespace. Uh, if you wanna do online stores, then you have options to use basically Shopify or GoDaddy e-commerce, or, or you can use Squarespace or Wix to sell uh, on goods online. Uh, obviously, you probably should go with Shopify because they're the industry leader for a reason. But again, Shopify functionally is a website builder. So they're an e-commerce website builder. And that's just what I mean by it. it's like niche specific. Whatever you wanna do, there's a website builder that is specifically designed for that. Even something like a Format. Format's another website builder, like if you're a photographer or digital artist and you just wanna have a beautiful photo like beautiful uh, portfolio for your website, that website builder is built for you. And so that's something that's really fun and interesting about uh, website builders is that they have now become a little bit more niche specific in serving specific markets. So that's the last pro, uh, niche specific. All right, now let's get to some cons of website builders and there's quite a few and that's basically, I think, deal breakers by someone like me who runs a content marketing business would never in a million years <laughs> use a website builder. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first con of website builders is that they are extremely expensive. I, I, they are ridiculously expensive for in some instances, depending on what you do. And so for someone like me who runs a content marketing business and I have uh, two large profitable websites, I would never in a million years use a website builder because the price is just outrageous. 
Now, if you take a look at something like Squarespace, you'll see like $12 for their personal plan, $18 for uh, their business plan, and that's an annual rate. And like, okay, that's, that's not too expensive. That's fairly reasonable. But you have to remember that this is per website, one website at a time. And so for example, like I have my websites at WPX Hosting, my websites combined get well over 100,000 page views a month and get significant amounts of traffic. And I'm on WPX Hosting's like cheapest plan, which is like 20 something dollars per month. And I have multiple websites for 20 something dollars a month. Whereas if you do the math, say like, okay, I currently have three websites. I have two really large websites and I have a brand new like smaller website that's just getting like 100 visitors a day. Those three websites, if I was to use a website builder like Squarespace, I would have to pay individually for each one. And so when you look at like the, the plans for Squarespace, for example, like the personal or the business, you you typically best want to be on the business plan because the personal plan is so limiting that if you want to make money with your website or blog, you really want the business plan because it unlocks all the important blocks that you actually need in order to monetize your website and just have that full access, full featured of Squarespace. And so it's $18 per website. And so that's crazy because you add that up, 18 plus 18 plus 18, whoa, okay. And then you talk about the domain names. Well, David, it's free for the first year. Okay, great. And then it renews at what rate? Twenty dollars. <laughs> so you end up, so you end up paying like two hundred and like thirty something dollars uh, per website. So for me in my situation, uh, if you put my three websites together, if I was strictly on Squarespace, it would be over seven hundred dollars a year. It's like that's crazy expensive. That's crazy expensive because like I'm on WPX hosting and I pay like two hundred something dollars a year for that web host and I have all my three websites that are high traffic and make money and they justify the cost. Whereas seven hundred dollars a year for Squarespace, like pff, that's crazy. Like that's the price of a server. And so like what I just think. Um, it's too expensive because it's per website. So that's what you have to take into consideration and let's just look at the fine print. And so I think that for someone, and also for like someone starting out, if this is your very first website, paying something like $18 a year is just expense or $18 a month is just expensive guys. It's just, sorry, it's like very, very expensive because you can get a cheap web hosted, web hosting account with like Bluehost and then you can get a domain name at a domain name registrar, put it together. It could be like, you know, 80, $90 a year to help get you started, see if this is for you, see if you can stick with it instead of like spending uh, 200 something dollars with Squarespace. Again, this is just my personal opinion, but from someone in my situation, um, website builders for what I do are just way too expensive. The next con is that you have limited control over your website in terms of the look and feel and design. And so with website builders, they all come with awesome templates that can be really beautiful and you can customize the templates, but still it's a template. And then some website builders, they have templates where they'll advertise like, oh, we have all these templates, but then they have templates from like 2014. <laughs> like Wix, for example, Wix has a lot of templates. They're like, okay, they have a lot of templates. They can claim that, but <laughs> they have a lot of templates that you would never want to use in a million years. And so it's like for that, it's kind of silly and annoying. And so I personally find that limitation in terms of the look, feel, and design to be a con. Now that could be a pro, that's why I mentioned it during the how it's convenient and easy and everything works together, blah, 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 all seamless integration, great. But I personally like having a little bit more specific control over the look, feel, and design of my site. I mean, you can just take a look at like websitecreativepro.com to get a feel for like how I personally like to design websites. And I just like that I have full control over all the little aspects of my site. And so that's basically why uh, website builders could be a little bit of a con. You are limited to the uh, basically the te themes and templates that come with whatever website builder you decide to purchase. All right, another con is that features are upsells. And so what I specifically mean by that is like if you have a WordPress website and you want to try out like a specific feature, there's usually some type of like specific plugin that you can just add to your site and give it a go and see how it works. Uh, because that's the nice thing about WordPress where it has like an open source nature. Like there's like Give WP, which is like a plugin, it's a donation plugin that you can try out on your website. But say like with Squarespace, if you're on the personal plan, you want to add donations, then you have to pay basically upgrade your plan to the business plan, and then you get access to the donations block because it's an upsell. And so that's kind of something I find a little bit annoying with uh, just any website builder world that will have different classes of things that you have access to per plan. And it's just a little bit annoying because like maybe, maybe like, that this plan has literally one thing that I want. And so I now I have to upgrade my entire account because it has this one thing that's part of this plan that's not part of this plan. 
I find that whole thing of having specific features being locked kind of annoying, kind of like a, your cable company, right? It's like, I don't want these 50 channels. I just want this one channel. Why do I have to upgrade my account to get all this stuff that I don't want? I just want this one little thing. Give me this one little thing. <laughs> it's like, that's just annoying, okay? And so something that's cool about WordPress is like, if I wanna add donations, I can just add donations via PayPal, or I can use something like GiveWP and, and set up a nice little process for donations, etc. So basically, that's why uh, it's that's another con of website builders. Uh, basically, features are used as upsells. All right, and the last con is SEO. And so basically, I'm kind of an SEO nerd. It's basically how I make my living because I have websites that get thousands of visitors a day and make money from advertising, product sales, affiliate marketing, etc. And so SEO with like some website builders is really bad. Like Google Sites and my uh, pros and cons Google Sites tutorial video, it's like uh, uh, the, the, the SEO is just terrible. The on-page SEO is terrible. And so I think like other page builders like Squarespace and Wix are way better. They pay way more attention to SEO, but it's still mediocre at best. And I'm not that impressed because like the, the page structure for blog posts with Squarespace or Wix, it's just, they're just not on point where they should be. Uh, you can just take a look right now at a website like Caleb Wojcik. He's a YouTuber and his blog is powered by Squarespace. And if we just type in like Caleb Wojcik, and then you're gonna notice that it's just not, like the way the, the search engine spiders read his website, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look that impressive. Uh, you know, it just has the name of the site and then like a couple little links underneath. Whereas if you look at like website creative pro, it looks amazing, like because the SEO is way better because of the Yoast SEO plugin. And so that's kind of like a deal breaker for me. Um, the SEO is acceptable with like Wix and Squarespace. I think they've gotten a lot better over time, but it still doesn't compare to the feature, full featured functionality that you get with a WordPress website and using a plugin like Yoast. So that is it for this video on the pros and cons of different website builders. Uh, I'm not saying like website builders are terrible, but it just, you have to understand what you're buying. And I hope this video helps you make a purchase decision. Uh, basically everyone's in a different situation, whether you have like an online store, you just wanna build a professional looking website because you're a YouTuber or you're like a photographer. Uh, you know, the website builders are still fantastic for that, but maybe if you wanna get more into like uh, content marketing and making uh, blogs and websites that can make money. Uh, maybe I would pass on website builders and focus more on like WordPress. But again, I just want to make this video to help you make a decision on what is best for you. Anyways, my name is David, WebsiteCreativePro.com. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button because it does help uh, videos <laughs> better within the Google, YouTube algorithm, etc. So anyways, I'm starting to ramble. I'll leave it there. Bye-bye.